Oh shit. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Indie Choice Picks. Today we've got another returning member of the Indie Choice community. We have Joseph King coming back with his Slaughter Squad adventure. If you don't know what Slaughter Squad is, just picture the food that you eat, chicken, cow, beef, pork, are all coming to kill you and liberate all other slaughterhouses. So, pretty interesting concept. I like it. It's a lot of fun. He's back to try again on his campaign, so show him some love, ladies and gentlemen. Joseph King, the creative slaughter squad. Adios! Enjoy! And if you like the mask, let me know. Joseph, man, it was uh, good getting you back on the show. I know last time we talked, you were working on your comic book Slaughter, Scro uh, Slaughter Squad, and uh, I saw the little animation you had, and it was pretty, pretty freaking epic. Um, <laughs> so since then, you you scrubbed that crowdfunding, and now you're starting over, correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so tell us a little bit about what happened and what you're trying to do differently this time around. Sure. Um, yeah, last time uh, I was just trying to fund. It was like a, it's basically like a floppy twenty-four pages. It was smaller uh, than most of the. Do a good job of getting the word out um, and promoting and stuff. Uh, so this time I'm gonna try and uh, you know promote the hell out of it. Um, it's going to be a bigger book. It's going to be two. It's like a double feature. So we got the first two parts put together. It's going to be 48 pages. It's going to be bigger. And, um, hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. I'm, I'm loud and clear. Did this stream freeze up? Can you hear me? Oh, cool. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no the, the thumbnail froze. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, um, yeah, I've been like uh, chatting with a bunch of uh, indie comics people, comics gate people, uh, and uh, they've all been pretty receptive. And um, yeah, I've been uh, yeah. So I'm just trying to get out there more. Are, and, you, um, are you planning on like maybe uh, uh, doing a little bit more of the story, like um, going ahead and um, adding bit to the story. I know you said last time um, the book that you were working with only had 24 pages. Now you're working on trying to make it a bigger book. So are you adding more to the story per se? Um, no. Um, like it, I, I've, I've got a plan. I've I planned out um, an eight part kind of story arc. Like the, I'm considering this like the first season. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not necessarily adding more or expanding it. I'm just kind of taking a few books and putting them all together in a volume. Okay, that makes um, sense. But I know I was thinking about doing like an ash can or some kind of side story and maybe that's a stretch goal. Okay, that sounds good. What about, um, are you going to be doing a little bit more of the animation aspect of your book or are you just going to stick with the comics for now? Um, I'm... I'm working on I, mean, I was thinking about doing some kind of like promo promo animation for you know like the the pitch video having a little something in there but uh yeah animation is very uh it's time consuming takes takes a lot of work so uh, like i don't, I don't want to take too much time away from actually making the comic mm -hmm. but uh, i'll probably do a little something <laughs> I know animation takes a long time. I think the last time we talked, we kind of exchanged. Well, you kind of gave me a few pointers on how I could better animate, and I kind of did um, a few little demos of, like, bouncing ball. Yeah. Um, that was actually really fun to do. I had a lot of fun doing that. It was just for that, what, three seconds, three to five seconds of animation. It mm -hmm. took literally, like, four or five hours to do. So it took – it took a minute to really try and understand how oh, yeah. it but it's so rewarding when you actually get to that point where it's done and you're watching it, you're like, wow, this is great. So I've been, I really want to mm. animate it. I really want to yeah, get Yeah, that's the best that. part when you see it done. Yeah, exactly. I love it. I love watching it. And, mm. I, and I think I sat there and watched the ball bounce and roll for like 
I don't know, all day. <laughs> showing people, like, look, look, I did this, I did this. And it's just a bouncing ball. And they're like, oh, cool, a bouncing ball. And I'm like, you don't understand. This took five hours to do. <laughs> <laughs> this makes it, this, you yeah, look at this Yeah, like ball. a good animation loop. You can just watch it all day. Exactly. It was from a bouncing ball to a guy running. So now I'm, I'm, I want to focus more on anatomy and, and body movement and stuff mm. like that. And that's a little bit more challenging than just I'm oh, sorry. I kind of break it up a little bit. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay. So I want to I wanna go a little bit more into anatomy stuff because that's a little bit more challenging. But finding tutorials on YouTube, I've tried Skillshare and all these other outlets on trying to get that motion down. It's been really difficult. So I can't really find anything that's going to help me get to that point to where I can animate, you know, full body motion. I can do faces. I can do faces all day. But... Body motion, that's, ah. that's different, so. I'll, I'll try and uh, dig something up for you. I, I think I can point you in the right direction. <laughs> that would be great, man. I would really want to get into that. So, well, going back to your book, um, we had the animation. I love that. That was great. And then we had the book, and I thought it was a pretty, pretty good idea. Um, before, I think you said you were doing most of the work as far as drawing, coloring, lettering right uh yeah i'm actually um yeah so before i was gonna do everything myself and uh uh i decided that wasn't a good idea <laughs> yeah so i started uh, work. reaching out yeah i started reaching out to some guys and um i'm gonna work with this colorist named uh, steve cannon uh, he did some work on uh, Monster uh, MD. Yeah, he's good. Uh, I love he's, that. He's really good. And then uh, I talked to, uh, yeah, and um, I'm uh, working on getting a letter. So, um, yeah, we're going to, that's going to help out a lot, speed things up. And uh, um, I got uh, Steve to do a few pages. I can show you. Uh, some of the stuff that he did is really cool. Yeah, go ahead. Um, you should be able to go ahead and share yeah. your screen. All right, hold on a second. <laughs> All right. Uh, this, I'll share the window. That would probably be the best way to do it. Boom. Yeah, that looks good. I can see it. Cool. Yeah, so this is uh, this is the first few pages of uh, part two, showdown with El Lobo. So they're. Uh, what is that? <laughs> that's, my, that's my son. <laughs> this is my comic book son. <laughs> um, this is uh, they're they're robbing a, a a gun shipment that's headed to the to this Mexican cartel um, and uh, it's gonna escalate. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it already escalated pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, and then here's the next page. He just opens fire indiscriminately murdering these Sicarios. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, Thunder Sparkle, the horse and uh, Rosemary, the chicken up there covering with some suppressing fire. <laughs> That's great. And then, uh, and then Kilgore's like, save your ammo. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. So I'm noticing the artwork. This is done by the artist that you recruited uh, recently, right? So this, yeah, this is my line work. Um, and then he's uh, Steve Cannon colors. Okay. So you, you still handle all the, the penciling and line work, and he's just handling the color, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, because it um, does it does look like um, the colors. You can tell that it's um, that is him because it, it, the, the colors and the style is very reminiscent of Monster MD. Because I remember that very well. Because that was a really good um, that was a really good um, comic book. Well, oh yeah, yeah. What I thought. I, I really ad admire uh, that that work. So I was like, <laughs> I want I want your colorist 
colors, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me have your colors for a little while because they look really good. So, well, yeah, um, he's, he was free and it worked out perfectly. So, God, that's even better. You love the word yeah. free. Everyone loves the word free. <laughs> well, I mean, he was available. He's not free. Oh, free for okay. I got <laughs> you. Available. No, I'm I'm paying him. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, with the pages you did before, um, are there any like differences or variations between what you did and what uh, this new artist has done? Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're gonna go back and kind of like remaster that first part, that first comic, and. Um, I'm, I'll be uh, making some little adjustments to the line work and I made some edits to some of the dialogue and stuff. And then he's going to like pump it up with some, some of this new coloring. Yeah. So it's going to be, it's going to be different. Um, so for the people who, um, who bought the digital version, this is going to be like a remastered plus it's going to have part two in there. Okay. And you're planning on just having all eight volumes in one big book, and that's what's, what's going to be uh, pushing your crowdfunder, right? For the, for this one, it's just going to be the first two parts. Okay. For twenty bucks. For twenty bucks. Okay. And then, like, eventually down the road, we'll do like a huge, uh, like, compendium with all all eight, and that's going to be like a few hundred pages. I guess. Okay. That sounds that sounds like fun. So. Right now, you're in pre-launch at the moment. Oh, wait, before I move on, do you guys do you have any other pages to show? Because I'm like an hour right oh. now. More. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's, there's one more page in there. Yeah. So they come out from behind the cactus and get the stragglers. That's awesome. And then uh, the horse, his line is, he says, uh, carne asada, more like carnage asada. <laughs> <laughs> and then the pig, Willard, he, he like goes, ugh cringe <laughs> <laughs> that's actually that's a pretty that's an authentic joke i like that <laughs> that's great yeah. <laughs> so you have um you're in pre-launch i'm assuming right now correct yeah yeah um i have the page up somewhere where did i put it uh, yeah we're on pre-launch uh on indiegogo um, we got a, quite a few signups already. It's pretty good, pretty awesome. That's good. Kind of building up. So what are you what are you doing different now? So you're you're more active on Twitter. I've been seeing that you're more active on Twitter. Um, yeah. You're pushing newer pages. You're getting involved with uh, threads and communication and conversations and stuff like that. So I know that's one thing that you're doing differently. But now you're building your mailing list. You're getting people over to Indiegogo page. What are you doing differently this time as aside from getting more involved on social media than what you did before? Um, I mean, yeah, social media and then also YouTube. I'm trying to get on more, uh, more of these streams and uh, podcasts and stuff. Um, yeah, just jumping in there. Nice, nice. Um, when can – so you're in pre-launch now. You've been collecting emails, so on and so forth. When is – when are you expecting to sort of launch the campaign? Uh, maybe February or March. Uh, you know, there's like a lot of stuff launching right now, these next few months. So it's going to be pretty crowded. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. I have to stand out from the pack. Like, I don't want to wait too long, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe February. Okay. That sounds like fun. I'm looking forward to it. This looks really <laughs> this looks Thanks, great. man. This looks yeah, I'm looking great. forward to it too. <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> I mean, all the work you've been putting in since the last time we talked, I mean, you've been doing a lot of work. I know a lot of people who um started some like a comic book and they just kinda just went off radar for a little while, kinda just retooled everything and kind of fine tuned a little bit of the stuff that they were trying to do before. And now they're just popping back up out of nowhere like you and giving more content and doing more stuff to kind of build the the anticipation and the hype over their comic book. And I think that's, that's smart. I mean, Twitter, sometimes you just got to take a break, dude, because that yeah, is crazy on Twitter. Yeah. In a new year. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to have fun. Like I'm not, I don't want to like get in drama or big fights with people, but, uh, you know, just posting memes and, <laughs> poking fun at stuff not you know 
I like I like, the best part about Twitter is the ratio. Like seeing someone get ratioed. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to have fun. That is funny. Like a lot of people have been saying some of the most <laughs> dumbest stuff on Twitter, and I'm like, dude, did you like 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 not think this through? Because the ratio <laughs> is it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's it's fun to point and laugh. Yeah, it is. It's very fun. The trick is to just not take it too seriously, I guess. Well, that's Twitter, because a lot of people on Twitter are always taking something a little bit too seriously. And I'm the guy that, like, points out, I'm like, hey, it's Twitter. Like, <laughs> just don't take it personally. People are just going to talk shit for the sake of talking shit. But that's just the way it is. You can't really do anything about it. But if you're going to get bent out of shape, then just, just get off Twitter. I mean. Yeah, man, people, that's the way. Some people just say shit to see how people are going to react, and they laugh at those reactions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's the best part with Twitter is that right there. Yeah, trolling, it's just, that's the internet. You're going to get yeah. trolled. Yeah. And the first rule of trolls is don't feed the trolls. Yeah, don't feed no. the trolls. Just ignore <laughs> it. No matter how much you want to go ahead and reply, just let it go, dude, because it's going to take up your entire day. And before you know it, you would have wasted a day on Twitter trying to figure out what to do or what have I been doing this whole time. So that's, don't let it get to you. Reddit, Reddit's oh, the same yeah. way too. Don't, don't, don't get on Reddit. Reddit, mm. Reddit's the worst. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really get Reddit. I, I never really use it too much. Like I, I post a couple of times over the years, but yeah, Reddit, I never really got into. Yeah, for sure. Uh, all right, hold on, son. <laughs> all right, well, we're kind of coming down to the end of our time together. So just like last time, uh, I ask all of my people who come on a show, if there's one piece of advice that they can give someone to run a successful campaign, what would be the advice that you would give uh, some aspiring comic creators? Well, um, I mean, I haven't been successful yet, so I, 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 got it. I don't really have a whole lot, but I'll just say, look at the people who are more successful and just try and figure out how they did it. And luckily there are a lot of uh, successful guys who are, dropping little pearls of wisdom and giving out advice. So just keep your ears open and, uh, you know, be, be willing to uh, make adjustments and retool. And uh, if you don't, at first you don't succeed, try again. There you go. It's not a, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon folks. You're going to have to keep on going forward and doing the best you can and just be learning. So um, I know one of those people who completely crushed their campaign was uh, the guy uh, who did Monster MD, Von Klaus. So you yeah. gotta follow him on Twitter at, I think it's Monster MD. I think that's his Twitter handle. Um, Von Klaus is a really great. Yeah, I've been uh, looking at Von Klaus and also um, uh, Malin. You know, he did uh, um, Graveyard Shift, right? That was pretty big. Yeah. He just mm -hmm. put out that variant that's been doing well. Yep, I saw that. So. Yeah, a lot of these people, they know exactly what they're doing, but at one point, they didn't have a clue. So, I mean, yeah. I'm sure Von Klaus has been one of those people who just, like, tried it, failed, did it again, failed, and then did it again and got it right. Um, same with another person who did Caius. I can't recall his name. Oh, anymore. yeah. He, he, that dude had about 300 followers on Twitter, but I think crushed about twenty to $30,000 in his crowdfunding campaign. So, he did a lot. That yeah, he did well. He did very well. So. And, yeah, I was looking at how he was handling his campaign, too. He was uh, very active. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's really good to, I mean, like I said, with social media, that's the best way to sort of kind of get um, word of mouth around about what you're doing. And like you said, uh, joining uh, podcasts like this or like YouTube shows like this and just trying to get your name out with people who wouldn't otherwise know who you are. Um, my advice to that is sort of limit your time on Twitter because it you just go down a rabbit hole and then you just completely yeah. start to get lost on what it is you're trying to do. At first, it's about the comic, it's about the work, it's about building a following, and then next thing you know, you're trying to argue with someone with how well a president Donald Trump is, and it's like <laughs> this is not why I'm here. But you know, <laughs> you just yeah. have to sort of like let that go for a little while. But that's the world yeah. we live in. Yeah, there's a really good quote. They say. Uh, you know, you can't really, you can't really change people's minds with words. It's it's mainly action. So just, just do 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 your thing, and you don't really have to argue too much. You know, it's just the the results speak for themselves, right? Exactly. There you go. So, 
Well, Joseph, man, it was good having you on the show, man. I will loving. I'm loving to see what you're gonna do next with uh, Slaughter Squad. I love. I love that joke that that the horse said. I can't. I can't right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like got a guy that'll just kind of like chuckle at a like a joke that is funny, but you know, it's like ah, that's kind of cringy, but it's it's funny, you know. So, <laughs> that's my uh, favorite kind of humor. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's my favorite kind of humor too. Like, if you can make more jokes like that in your comic book, dude, I I would love that. So. Uh, <laughs> this is great so, yeah. for sure man well i think i've already signed up for your pre-launch right oh um i haven't checked in a while i, I need to check back but uh, well if i haven't because i know you started a separate new list i don't know if i'm on the new list but if i'm uh, not uh send me the link i will yeah. sign up and keep up with the updates with this i will send you that link um, and and to everyone else who's watching if you want to sign up for his pre-launch emailing list i will have the link to that in the description below so go on over sign up for its pre-launch and you know wait for the, the crowdfunding to launch right on yeah and um i'll plug my my social media um check me out at the mayhem king on twitter and uh yeah so you'll see updates and artwork and stuff that sounds like a plan, man. All right, Joseph, though, well, you have a great Saturday, man. It looks like your kid is all over your comic book. It looks like he's interested, too. So, <laughs> Oh, <awesome>. yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Well, good luck to you, and I will see you on Twitter, my dude. Thanks, man. It was so, good talking to you, Will. You too, man. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> well, that's it for this interview. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the creative idea, the link to their campaign is in the description. You know, when I started off with the Indie Choice Picks videos, I wanted to give a platform to indie creators everywhere. So if you are an indie creator and you have a project that you're working on and you want to come on the show, find me on social media, preferably Twitter or Instagram, and let me know what you're working on. Also, a big shout out to Silver Tiger for giving me that awesome intro you saw at the beginning. I'm Will at Heroic Studios, and remember to support indie creators everywhere.